Synchronizing your latest news, EA has announced that Bioware will be teaming up with Funimation Entertainment to bring an anime feature film based on the Mass Effect franchise to the general public in 2012. Casey Hudson, the executive producer of the Mass Effect series, will also act as the executive producer on the film. No information is currently available regarding the possible plot, characters, or relation to the games. The Smithsonian American Art Museum will open an Art of Video Games exhibit on March 16th of next year, which will feature designs and production work of video games from five predetermined eras. As part of the pre-opening process, the museum has begun open voting for the games to be featured in the exhibit. Upon registering, voters can select games from the aforementioned eras to be included in the museum's displays. All votes tally down to a final 80 titles. TimeGate Studios announced pricing details and a release for the follow-up to their 2009 shooter, Section 8. Section 8 Prejudice will be made available on the Xbox Live Marketplace, the PlayStation Store, and the PC. The Xbox 360 version will be made available on April 20th, and the PC version will follow shortly afterward on May 4th. No release date has been set for the PlayStation Network version. Section 8 Prejudice will cost 1,200 Microsoft points, or $15 on the PC. Quite a few games have gotten street dates since our last episode, so let's gear up for the deluge. 505 Games and Rebellion Developments have announced a sequel to Tactical Shooter Sniper Elite. Sniper Elite V2 will supposedly be the most realistic World War II sniping experience to date, featuring realistic weapon ballistics, and will be released for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 in 2012. NIS America has announced that the cute penguins and massive tactical damage of Disgaea 4 will hit American PS3s this September, and sometime this fall for Europe. Eat Sleep Play's long-awaited reboot of the vehicular combat of Twisted Metal will hit retail shelves in the West on October 4th. Duke Nukem Critical Mass will finally hit the DS next month in North America, although the PSP version of the game has been cancelled. Well, not really an official release as much as a self-described milestone, Marcus Notch Prosen announced via blog that Minecraft will be leaving beta on November 11th. Level 5 is partnering with D3, a subsidiary of Namco Bandai, for the North American release of White Knight Chronicles 2. Launching sometime this summer, this American version will feature both the second game and a remastered version of the first. And finally, Dead and Seeds 3 has been delayed until June 17th and June 21st in Europe and North America, respectively. The developer said the delay was issued in order to add more time to the quote, final policy phrase. The Australian Classifications Board has inadvertently revealed a new game in the popular Burnout Racing franchise. Burnout Crash will be rated PG in Australia, and that's pretty much all we know for sure at this point. Some LinkedIn digging done by GamerBytes, who originally dropped the story, found that the game is set for release on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. It's currently believed that Crash will be on the digital download platforms respective to those consoles. Further speculation points to the title, meaning that the game will revolve around the fan-favorite Crash mode first introduced in Burnout 3. The hacker group Anonymous, famous for its site-crashing defenses of Julian Assange's WikiLeaks organization, has been targeting Sony through their media servers on PlayStation Network and the company's official media website. Has been targeting Sony through their media servers on the PlayStation Network and the company's official website. The group cited loyalty to George Jew Hot Hots as the cause for their attacks, with Sony allegedly restricting one juice of a product they own, and has since been causing both media servers to intermittently shut down over the course of the past few days. Since then, however, Anonymous has issued a ceasefire of their Sony attacks. The group expects to reinitiate their attacks against Sony once they find a method that, quote, doesn't hurt Sony consumers. The attacks had previously been escalated to targeting specific executives at the electronics company, with the aim of posting their private information directly to the internet. No word yet on when Anonymous will resume their action, but the hacker group is still encouraging supporters to go to Sony store outlets and complain to management about the user restrictions. PopCap Games Company Image doesn't really extend beyond the social games sector, with little credibility outside to extend to hardcore gamers beyond Bejeweled. To that end, the studio has launched an experimental label known as Fourth and Battery. Acting as a publishing arm for the less family-friendly games, Fourth and Battery will produce content like Unpleasant Horse, a free game for the iOS where players shoot down birds and knock happier horses into meat grinders. And finally for this week, new Mass Effect 3 details surface via the May issue of Game Informer. The third installment is set to take character customization back in the original game's direction, with hardier skill trees and weapon modifications, although it won't be as deep as Mass Effect 1. Most of the squad mates introduced in the second game are expected to be in the game if they live past the explosive finale, with the new character, James Saunders, fulfilling a yet unconfirmed role in the story. The game is also confirmed to be single player only, albeit with multiple endings. This has been your Heads Up Display. For all the latest news, reviews, and features, as well as the full versions of our featured headlines, head on over to elder-geek.com.